Hi, my name is K.S. Revivo. I'm an artist based in LA. I do three-dimensional and two-dimensional collages on paper and sometimes installations. Um, today I'm working on collage. Um, that's my latest series. I travel the world and I find pieces of paper on the ground wherever I go. I found paper in uh, Israel, in Mexico, um, in India, and um, I love it. I love I love finding things on the ground and then transforming them into something else, into something beautiful. I'm trying to um, put words to something that I usually do in solitude. Um, so I'll do the best that I can to explain my process. Um, I find things, usually on the ground, but since COVID, I've been going to secondhand stores. Um, there's one in particular that I really like. They have all kinds of paper, paper, like just paper from floor to ceiling. And I just go and I search and search and search. And when something feels right, I take it, I buy it. So, and the same when I'm, when I'm on the street, I look and look and there's trash, you know, on our streets, there's trash everywhere. So I look to find the right thing that feels good. I pick it up and I take it home and then, and then see how they fit together. So, um, once I have my group of papers, then I look to see what feels like the starting point should be. So like, maybe I'll start with this one and I want the pizza. And so I get my X-Acto tool and I start cutting out the pizza. And I start cutting out whatever is the central character that I want to use in this piece. And then I do that to all the pieces until I get the right grouping. And then what I've been doing with the three-dimensional pieces is I, um, make sure that they're sturdy enough. So something like this is really flimsy. So I'll put it on cardboard. I'm gonna glue it to cardboard. And once it's then sturdy enough, then I cut it out. And then I put it on risers. So I, I lay out my entire um, canvas and see where exactly is everything gonna go. And then I make risers out of foam. And I put them at different heights, depending on what looks good from a distance. So I'm, it's a forward and back process. I stand back, I look at the whole canvas and how it's working together, two-dimensionally, three-dimensionally. Um, and then I assemble everything together. I'm passionate about my work because it feels so good to make it. Every time I am engaged in the creation process, I just feel amazing. And it's something that, for me, I feel like it's my purpose in life, and it gives me direction, it, it, it's the way that I feel I make a difference in this world. The passion for it really drives me to work every day to meet that vision to reach the goals that I want to reach, to get into the museums that I want to get into, to connect with the collectors that um, will be my partners to reach that goal, the vision that I have for myself and my works. What I love about my craft is really the process. I love taking something from the very beginning where I'm finding things on the streets and then, you know, there's a spark to the very end where it comes alive. So all those steps where finding the materials and then brainstorming the, the spark comes alive and I can sort of envision the piece in my head, whether that ends up being what it looks like or not. It's so exciting to see a piece and then to execute it so like the the actual putting together of the pieces is so fun and it makes me feel so alive and then when you create a piece and you put the last last little bit on and you stand back and you're like wow it's done that thing just came through me and onto paper and you're taking it to the frame shop it's it's the most invigorating feeling